some book formats are known in the West that are often referred to as exotic book formats. However, as we shall see, some of them show an outstanding similarity to the formats we have seen in the previous videos. Pothi is the Sanskrit term to designate a book format very common in the Orient, made up of several sheets of wood or palm leaves in a stack, with one or two holes through which a rope goes and the sheet can slide along this rope. The fang book is quite similar to the pothi, but in its sheets a single hole has been placed near one of the edges, and through the hole a ring of rope or metal keeps all the sheets together. This format is closely related to the Chinese Buddhist texts. As it seems, when the Chinese try to imitate the Indian pothi with the materials they had available, which were mostly thick paper leaves, found out that the paper tore too easily by effect of the rubbing against the rope, and the fang book seems to have been the solution to this problem. Now we shall see some formats that lay more or less in between the Western Roll and Codex. Obviously the drawbacks of the roll were also perceived in the East, and to circumvent them a number of experimentals form arose. Some of them are similar to the roll, and some of them are already closer to the codex. The wild pool book is probably the format geographically less diffused and therefore not so well known. It was constrained to China from the Tang dynasty to the Song dynasty. In the wild pool book, all leaves are stacked, but each leaf is shorter than the previous one. All are aligned by the left edge and glued together around a bamboo cylinder. To store the whirlpool book, all the leaves were rolled up around this cylinder, and therefore, when rolled up, the whirlpool book is indistinguishable from the roll. The harmonica book is a long band of material folded alternatively to one side and to the other. It's known in Ethiopia and Mesoamerica, in prehispanic books of Mayas and Aztecs, and also in the Far East, where, as in the case of the Poti format, the harmonica book is related to Buddhism. And already formats very close to the Western codices are the Butterfly Book and the Chinese Codex. The Butterfly Book is a typical Far Eastern book format in which the extra thin Chinese paper leaves are folded backwards, just as the wings of a butterfly. Because the paper is so thin, the leaves can only be written on one of its sides. Actually, they are printed, not handwritten. And they are laid in a way that two written pages confront each other, followed by two blank pages that afterwards are glued to each other, and so on. This sort of book became common in China during the Sang dynasty. And finally, we come to the Chinese Codex, which is very similar, but not quite the same as the Western Codex. On the outer side, it is quite similar to the Butterfly Book, but the folding and disposition of the paper sheets is precisely the opposite. The sheets are folded so that the written side falls in the outside, and then the edges opposite to the fold are sewn or glued together, so that the folds take the part of the four edge, and the glued or sewn edges the spine. This sort of book flourished in China under the Yuan dynasty. Thank you.